welcome to the lead uh, in this session we will learn about different features of green buildings uh, what are the features of green buildings uh, first it will be energy efficient water efficient provide better indoor environmental quality uh, is eco-friendly or sustainable material uh, location and transportation use uh, produce less waste, protect or restore habitat and different kind of eco-friendly habitat. We start with first uh, energy efficient. Uh, firstly, you have to install high efficiency windows to use the light and natural air, which will reduce use of electricity. You can install insulation in wall, ceilings, and floors to increase the efficiency of the building envelope course uh, uh, one important thing is on site generation of renewable energy uh, through solar is uh, an important part uh, this is a picture of uh, energy efficient uh, windows uh, which will enable you to use the light and this is the scenario of different use of insulation wall insulation wall to thermal storage insulation wall on insulation on floor which will reduce heat loss uh, also many features that is a movable insulation which will reduce heat loss at night this insulation will reduce your use of electricity and this is the picture of uh, a solar panel used in the building which will also reduce your use of electricity now what water efficiency uh, the first step for increasing increasing water efficiency at home first reduce the use of drinkable or potable water uh, to do this you have to collect rain water and use indoor wash water uh, you can install systems which will collect and store runoff from rooftops and other impervious services also use of water from laundry machine dishwash um, but taps and sinks uh, which will actually classified as gray water uh, that uh, is not used from uh, human waste or sewage uh, of course uh, it's an important point selecting low Flossing and butter faucet and low flossing and butter faucets shower heads and toilets can reduce indoor water use by 30 to 44 percent uh, this is the uh, use of uh, recycling water in homes uh, different rain water is using as uh, uh, gardening also grey water is using for gardening different uh, run of water is collecting this so these are the scope for recycling water homes now the indoor environmental quality it's an important point that we the people spent half of the time in indoor so it is an important part uh, and uh, indoor air can be polluted two to five times two to five times than outside air and Poor indoor air can cause respiratory problem. Also, it is harmful for children. How can we solute, solute, make the solution of this? Uh, we can use sanitation, uh, odor or volatile organic compound removal, ventilation, humidity control, uh, and filtration. Next part is uh, use eco friendly sustainable material. Uh, in the construction also uh, during operation and maintenance this is a picture of uh, this uh, different source of uh, use of sustainable material that that is renewable source biodegradable gives recycle its energy efficiency in building durability and life span reduction in air land and water pollution such things uh, now less transportation use 
uh, how can we use less transparent use um, we can use public transit uh, use of uh, pedestrian path to encourage walking basically use uh, reduce parking footprint to discourage uh, motor using motor vehicle using uh, of, of course uh, green vehicle use uh, these types of uh, system will encourage active lifestyles and helps to reduce the strain from automobiles. Uh, next system is a uh, produce less waste. First, you have to set explicit goal for reducing in the volumes and toxicity of waste. Uh, saying this, conducting periodic assessments aimed at minimizing waste. Uh, substituting non-hazardous materials in place of hazardous substances redesigning equipment to produce less waste installing systems that use waste materials uh, this is a picture uh, of hierarchy of waste management first is first thing is source reduction and use it is more preferable and effective than a treatment and disposal and our restore habitat how can we restore habitat by conserve existing natural areas restore damaged areas provide habitat space promote biodiversity or protect greenfield sites by limiting site disturbance uh, there are different ways to protect greenfield uh, use of footprint uh, during construction and that's all thank you